all while just like because i'm imagining this carnival is pretty loud it's not like a quiet time. no no and even if you're not seeing people on right now it's because it's such a huge map and to populate it would make it much harder to find you guys individually you and your investigation roles, Nagi. Jesus Christ. So you guys come up here and you see uh, this person who's actually one of your hired hands. They're not like one of the troop, but they're one of your crew. Leroy, what are you doing? Hey, how's it going, boss? I uh, I was just chilling here, eating some of the leftover food you leave for me and the other crew. We appreciate it, by the way. You're the best. Of course. Uh, so and he actually has a name. Yep. Bernard. Oh, barmaid. Barmaid. Barmard! <laughs> now your name is Leroy! The transgender barmaid! I'm okay with this. <laughs> so listen, Leroy, we need your, um, we need your help on a couple of new acts tonight. Uh, make sure you, make sure you, all the other hands are finished up early. And then I need you to head over and I give them a couple of different, uh, tents. Separate them out however you want. Uh, anyone who wants to see a black dragon though should be on that last one. Okay, I'll uh, I'll see what I can do. I'll talk to to everybody who needs talking to. I'll see what I can get from Paez, stingy bitch, and uh, yeah, I'll find that last one. I think I saw him go back with some weird doll. And and, and Leroy, uh, and and I get a little quiet. I kind of lean into him. Uh, there seems to be a little bit of noise, and I kind of like give him that sidelong look. A little bit of noise uh, going around town. Keep close to the to the troop. Keep to ourselves. Keep our ears open, though. You got it, boss. I'll keep my uh, ears peeled. You got it. Talk yeah. to you soon, Leroy. All right. You, you haven't you haven't seen the new guy around here yet? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. He went back there with some weird doll or something. Weird doll. Yeah, I've never seen nothing like it before. I. You know, it kind of freaked me about, to be honest, and I've never been scared of anything since my father shot me. Your father shot you? Yeah, but it was just with a rock in the face. Side quest. How do you shoot a rock? As... You know what, there's time for that later. Let's go find a new guy. Yeah. I, I, as I'm walking away, I say behind me, talk to you, Leroy, talk to you later, Leroy, and I look to the, to the girls. Just another hole to play with. Uh... What did you say? He talked about getting shot by his father, and I said, just another hole to play with. Ah! Uh, ah! Dun, dun, dun. Terrible. Okay, so we go find new guy. Uh, and you Is find... Like with a doll, appropriately? Uh, new guy just has kind of like this doll on his shoulder. Apparently. That you have cool never doll. seen just before. Call my character Leroy. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, it's been a little, we've been talking about Leroy. I am sorry, Wedge. I am sorry. Yes, Ooh. Wedge has a doll propped up on his shoulder. Hashtag change his like, name to Leroy in paper. No, <laughs> <laughs> Don't you Leroy, you bastard. I, I won't. Hey, Only because hey, Leroy. Lever. Hey, Leroy, we've been looking for you. Yeah, cool doll. Mm. Is it new? Yep. Just found it. Found it. Where'd you find it? Over here. By the tent. I look in the tent. I said by the tent, not in the tent. I still look in the tent. Whose tent is this? Oh. Uh, this appears to uh, be some of the side workers tents you, you notice there's like a lot of cots and stuff hung up it looks like leroy probably passes out there most nights along with his various associates to help you guys kind of set stuff up probably like three or four dudes give or take so you were just snooping around i wouldn't exactly say snooping kind of felt a calling a calling yep can I? Is there something I can roll to see if he looks like normal? Yeah, I mean, you definitely um, can. Before before you do that, give a bit of a description of what is the doll? Is the doll and him dirty? You know, I can't say for sure. That's it's kind of his thing. Like, I don't, I don't know, man. Is Wedge dirty? He's an Earth Ganassi. He always looks dirty. He, he looks, looks like a little bit dusty. Wait, does the doll look dirty? The 
like, what do you mean dirty? This. Well, I mean, like he said. I know. I'm just giving you shit. So I, I'm trying to figure out like maybe how long it's been out here. I'm gonna roll. That seems like a good idea. Uh, it's a five. What do I add? I get a nine investigation. Um. Investigation for me is plus four, so that's nine. So, uh, it look all right. It look, <laughs> right. It look all right. Yeah. It, it looks fine, dude. So we got we got to perform. So let's go perform. Let's go yeah, get ready couple, for stuff. We got a couple of extra shows going on, and uh, apparently there's some stuff going on. I want to talk to everyone about it anyway, so we'll, we'll the deal world with that needs one. us. But, you as always, some, you got some to talk about. What do you want to talk about? There's, there's been a couple of uh, head to heads, uh, a couple of troops going up against each other, kind of arguing on behalf of people maybe they shouldn't be arguing about. Hmm. I'm assuming maybe that's why you were asking about the 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 mask in the in the in the raid. Uh, I was just asking. I was curious. Mm-hmm. Fetch check. <laughs> check. Do I roll? Do I roll? I, I don't know if he's actually... I'm not going to believe you unless you roll. Okay, so I'm going to roll. To, yeah, I was like, if you're literally trying to like, oh, I'm just innocent. I'm just asking. How can you not believe me? I can't find my d20. There it is. My insight's 13. I rolled 18. My deception is plus six. Oh, yeah. 18. No, I believe. I believe her. Okay. Okay. Miss Innocent Girl. I I get you. Well, there's a. Uh... I would never lie to a fellow bard. And I I'm just going... pat your shoulder. Mm-hmm. And then dust off my hand. <laughs> I am clean. I am immaculately clean and freshly greased. He looks shiny. Maybe that's why she she wipes her hand. Yeah, I don't like <laughs> grease. <laughs> grease is for my loot, not my hand. Grease is for loot. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like there's a man I need to see. I, I need to. Uh, well. Sort of. There's a person I need to introduce you to. Their name is Leroy. You, you two will get along well. <laughs> so we head back to our tent. Um, I ask him after making sure that everyone is set up with what they want um, or need. Um, I'm gonna try and locate what they what we're missing. Um, and make sure that things are located for the tent that they need to be in and everyone knows where they're going. Um, I try and learn what I can about leading elephants, because I don't think I've ever done that before. Fuck it, we're doing it live! I mean, I have to speak Ooh. with animals if you want me to talk to them. Well, talking to them and, and leading them are, are different things. Well, maybe Besides, we can see what they want. Besides, won't you be in the trapeze at that, at that point? Yeah, but I can do it beforehand and see if you can see if I can help you. Like, like talk to them and see if you can help you out well, on the day of. On the why, day. Why, why don't you talk to them and I will set up trapeze lines uh, while you're doing that and, and we can kind of kill two birds with one stone. Okay. So, me and her will head over to Elephant's Land and uh, get that squared away. Let's go talk to some elephants. Where it, so where are the three tents that we're going to be at, or are those going to be in our? So, you uh, as you say that and wonder, you know, aloud to yourself, you just hear Leroy the transgender barmaid, and he runs out of nowhere. And uh, yeah, and uh, basically says, "Boss, I finally figured it out. I know it took longer than usual, but here's how it goes." I also switch my accent. I do that. I like to switch things. Anyway, yeah. we've right. got we've got two new tents we get to use. They're gonna let us use. 
Uh, but they said that we gotta use one of the tents that gotta be we're gonna have to use for us. And we're either gonna have to move a show, cut a show down, or just deal with it. Uh, well, the undead lion, tiger, donkey thing, that uh, is part of our show anyways. So he, they're going to be doing the open slot, so their show will still be the same. Uh, we'll just unofficially drop the open slot we have for the slot that we already have. Okay, and that's... that's we'll the other two. That will be good. Uh, they said the one we need to use for our... The big slot is... Uh, the uh, black dragon is the only one that's going to be big enough they said they, they don't have a free tent that's big enough for the black dragon so we have to house the black dragon ourselves yes okay okay um where's the black dragon i i am fairly certain that it is it is on Gener Generac side of the carnival. Uh, of course. That was it was a it was a troop on that side, I believe, sir. That may or may not have left. Okay, uh, it sounds like we're going down Six Lane. Anyone else uh, want to go to the other side? Sure, I'll go. Sure, yeah. Okay. Uh, we should probably ask um, unde undead Mastiff man. Um, where is Ivitsa? I am preparing in the tent. Ivitsa! Open. I'm yelling yeah, into the tent. What do you want? Uh, we're going to the other side of the carnival. You coming? No. I need to prepare. Okay. okay. Your show's in, and then I explain the tent that he's going to that Leroy gave us. Okay. That's your tent. The other one's gonna be for the elephants. All right. Yeah, sounds good. Don't fail me. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we go down to the lane of questionable merchants that's probably between the two carnivals. Yep, yep, you uh, you got that right. We, we're gonna skip that as that is a, you know, a travel time thing. Not that yep. important, you know. But, uh, in the meantime, we will uh, get you guys on a new page. Now, this is where it comes in and where some people will have to do some things. Uh, it is much easier if you pull your character over when I move you the map over, as opposed to me trying to copy them over. So, that is why they're in your journal. Bam! Okay. Uh, where do I go? Newspaper page? The, move, the bottom of the map near the, uh... Okay. Wait, the bottom of the map yeah, we're gonna be going in. So there's a two two separate. Uh, oh, actually, you guys come through the trees over here. Oh, by the tables. Yep. Okay. One sec. I will How make. I will uh, put a little uh, thing there as soon as I remember where the f I put this. Actually, ah. go to the newspaper tab. Okay. Click your name. My name's yeah. not on here. Drag the one with the little person on it. That's Inu Akira. Yeah, yeah, drag that. Okay. Drag that over to... Over by the tables. And if, and if you don't see the table, scroll up and down until you see them. Uh, scroll down until you see an octopus. Just north of the oh. octopus, you'll see us. I see a spider. Keep going. Keep going down? Mm-hmm. Octopus. There's an octopus. There yeah, you are. Yep. Now, a uh, couple of things. If you click the picture in your in your area you can edit the name so it'll be your character name if you hold shift and scroll you'll zoom the map and if you hold shift and scroll you'll scroll left and right okay there's so a ever... sorry go ahead i was gonna say there's a couple other things uh minus and plus will zoom in and out yes. on any of the minus and pluses left or right uh you can also as long as you have the pointer click you can just hold uh, right click and kind of drag the map around. Hold right click. Oh, that's so much easier. It is a very nice little thing. Unfortunately, it only works when you have the pointer on. If you put on like snap to center or something, you can't. Actually, it still works on snap to center too. Okay, well. Liar. It does for me. No, no, I mean you were lying, bro. 
I was lying, I guess. Out of ignorance, though. Ignorance okay. and stupidity. But also, am I picked out by the doll, by the way? Is it creepy? It is, like, creepy. Um, I feel like the doll doesn't I... like you saying that. Would there have been any chance that, w that I would have been able to get a perception on the doll on, on our way here? Using just passive perception? No, actively looking at it. Did you roll for it? Well, I'm, I'm about to. I'm just asking if there, was a, if there would be time for me to do that on the way over here. Like, I made a point to, to, to stand next to you on the side that the doll was on and just looking at it. Not reaching at it, not like threatening or anything at it, just like trying to figure it out. I feel like that's an adequate time to kind of investigate it with probably some advantage. Well, if I'm investigating it, that's different. Oh, wait, were, you were doing... I was just going to perceive it. Yeah, just perceiving it, it's just kind of doing its thing. Just just looking for, you know, stuff, 12. Any symbols? Uh, is it dressed oddly? You, you um, notice that it does have a strange manner of dress. Like, it's dressed like a person. Like, it's not dressed like a doll. It's dressed like a person. Uh, and... You it's know, small form. That's yep. All. Even then, it's so like, like yeah, thing in kids' what clothes. Kind of, what kind of dolls do you play with that don't dress like people? Uh, superheroes, oh. action figures, oh. yeah, oh, fair. anime fair. characters, uh, dinosaurs. Fair, even, <laughs> like back in, even back in the day, I want to say that they were made out of like a upholstery fabric. Versus, like, yes, without yeah, like that, and that's kind of what I mean. Is like this is not a like toy this is like clothed like a person that's kind of where i thought he was going with it i just i was putting the no no on. it's it's actually both though it's 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 very much so both where it's like this is not like a sailor's costume or a a dress that you would put on a doll this is like somebody's everyday clothing is on this on this doll the the clothing does not look like it was custom made for the doll but that no is, yeah that to fit the doll as a consequence yes got it I, I keep to myself. I, I don't bother wedging up his doll. Have I ever seen him with this doll before? Not in your memory. You have not. Okay. So, we, so we arrive. Um, how much time did we lose? I'd say that it's probably only about a. 15 minute trek through all of the markets and stuff these these are very close they are you know still thing and that's the thing they have separate entrances and everything but they are connected carnivals in every sense of the word like gotcha. entry fee for one is entry fee for another I, I try to stick pretty close to jen and not pretty close to the doll sounds like a smart idea i would do that as well do you uh, see her kind of shying away from the doll? Mm. Are you very obvious with like, nah, I'm just gonna walk here? Uh, or... no, I feel like I would be more like kind of natural in my moving away, but I would, you pretty much always see me pretty close to Jem. Gotcha. Like around the area, but not like 15 insight? Now I'm like active. I feel like, right? yeah, I feel like Probably. that's pretty good. Yeah, I feel like you'd be able to tell that even if you do, wouldn't know exactly why, you would just know that she's kind of avoiding it for whatever reason. I don't call attention to it, but I put myself in the middle of between the two of them so I block the view of the dog. Question I was taking my dog outside when we found the doll. What do I know about the doll? We don't know anything about the doll unless you know special stuff. I don't think I know. All I, I've heard stories of whatever was in the crate that we found her in growing up. That's about it. I rolled a nine and I'm freaked out by it. You know what? I have a thing to tell me how I feel about this doll. It gives me the, it gives me the heebies. I am gotcha. sad about the doll. Thank you, I am You're upset. sad about the doll? I'm upset. Oh, dang. That face. Block the view of the doll to the people who are bothered by the doll. I mean, I'm eight feet and five hundred pounds. I'm pretty sure I can manage that. Um, in the meantime, I do direct people towards where they keep the the beasts, so to speak, because there's very likely one area that's off to the side, behind tents, 
kind of hidden off to one direction with the the animals. So you the are thing is this back of the map. Yeah, and I don't know if you can see my ping here, but I will. That that was something I wanted to do earlier and I didn't get done, okay. but I can do it so now. I'm gonna, Text. I'm gonna quickly. I'm, I'm gonna quickly make my movement Peace. here. So if for any reason I get stopped, you just let me know. So we will stop you real quick, right there, basically. Yeah, right where you're at now. Uh, you are going the right direction. Also, I was just trying to make sure this, and it didn't go quite correctly. All right, let's go for our 200. Ah, yeah, that's better. Might be a little too big. There we go. Beasts. Unless I put it on the, ah, goddamn wrong layer. There we go. All right, beasts. <laughs> uh, but what you stopped, got stopped by, and not even really stopped as in in the sense of like you got stopped. It's more of the sense of like, oh hey. And it's this troll here. Hello. Hello. And he uh he speaks Elven, by the way. I am not speaking Elven. I'm speaking common. I know, I but elven. he speaks Elven. So I have no idea what he's saying. I don't understand Elven. Hi. Hello. Hello. I apologize in gnome. Yeah. He responds uh, uh, candidly. Oh, you speak gnome. Good. I, I respond the same thing in conic. I say something in celestial. I say I, I say I don't speak gnome in celestial, which it, sounds like singing. So you just hear me singing a little. And uh, he was. He responds in celestial, and I don't speak abysmal, or at least I didn't used to. <laughs> I have no idea what he just said. <laughs> uh, and to which you are all familiar with, luckily, Toral, the uh, chess master troll. Oh, so we are speaking to Toral, chess master troll. Now I have another name to write down. Thank you very much. Oh, of course, man. Uh, T O R R E A L. Nope. T O R O L L. Tor roll. Two roll. Chest master. Troll. Okay. Thank you. Um. But he says hello. It is he welcomes you once again to you know. Janarak's side of the uh, carnival it says that's a good thing to see you all. How has it, all, it, all, it always is, isn't it? It is. It is. How has your troop been? It's been quite well. It's been quite well. We're looking for a shadow dragon. Ah, I'm yes. Still, I'm still speaking in no gnome, but I speak it with a horrible, horrible accent. I must have learned it in a specific dialect. That's right. He actually speaks very fluent and like dialect worthy gnome of very, but of a very like, uh, like think like almost clinical so he's like doesn't have the rustic charm of your gnomish got it <laughs> that's one way of putting it rustic. um but he's like follow me i have the key to the the dragon's cage i'm in charge of acquisitions here and if we're transferring from one camp to the other i need to uh be in charge of that and so uh what's 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 been exciting on your side of camp well we lost the damn yellow bellies yeah, I heard a bit about that. Yeah. I mean, obviously, I I gotta handle their own work. Yeah, sorry about that. No one on our side can handle a dragon. Yeah, Some... they are what they are. Yeah. Well, we're about to learn if we can, so... Well, the boss believes in you. He personally recommended that you take this job. It's, uh... It, it, it is an attempt that we must make. Here's the thing. This here is Clarence. He shows us the dragon, Clarence. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> it's a cute little dragon. Yeah, he's not a very big dragon. Which, darn it. Ah! Sorry, I'm trying to get his exact size correct. <laughs> Damn dragons. Oh, look at Sir Risho. Right? 
Have I seen Cerberus yet? I mean, if you've been paying attention to chat... Just... I've been paying attention to the doll, which is why I'm ignoring chat for the moment. Well, okay, he's, he's uh, been around. After, after you guys found... And after we had the initial conversation, I did put in chat that at this point, Cerberus could doll peek his head out from inside his armor. And so oh, okay. So he is... So he is actually a vis visual at this moment. Yes, and then as okay. we were walking back, he boiled back in and just a bit of his head. Gotcha. Is that the snake? Is that right? Server shows his snake. Yes. Okay. Ye also, now the size is right for Clarence. Oh, it's a... Oh, what the hell are they called? Dragon. Baby dragon. No, he's young. They're only a large size. Which is... Does anybody know how to cast in large? Wait, I thought large was 10 by 10. Large is about 10 by 10. I was thinking of huge. I, like I said, I got confused earlier as well because I did have to make something huge. And I was like, wait a minute. Which one is yeah, which nope. again? Nope, you got large right. Large is 10 by 10. The other thing that's fucking me up is the double lining on this map. <laughs> Because the map yeah. under the map has, yeah, I gotta yeah, trust it. It's a little, it's yeah. a little uh, trippy. It's a little trippy. It's like a 3D effect it's giving my brain tumors. Anyway, uh, yeah, that is Clarence, which we, I mean we can name if you like. You, you the one that, are the one that told us his name is Clarence. To be fair, the troll told you his name is Clarence. Okay, so the troll, the troll told us his name is. That? Yeah, he told you that. He told us. Yep, he said this is Clarence, and he points at him, and he has like a little leash and some meat treats and stuff. He's like, uh, he likes long walks and meat, and he's a bad boy. And like, it snaps at him. He's like, bad Terrence. How many? Wait, I have a question. Clarence, sorry. I have a question. How many first level spells can I cast, and then how many second level spells can I cast? Is that should be on your character sheet? Is that four? Is that what that means? The, Let me double check squares. for you. Yeah, the little squares are your indicators. You can cast as many cantrips. You can cast four first level and three second level, it looks like. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh. Baby dragons are not animals. Oh, shit. You, you got me. You got me. Having, <laughs> having said that, uh, they are intelligent and can talk. You hear, you hear Jem say to me, baby dragons aren't animals, and I'm like, oh. And, uh, the, the, you just hear Clarence say, I would hope I'm not. <sighs> no, here's the thing. Is it speaking in common, or is it speaking in draconic? Currently common. Oh, that's not... Oh. Hi, Clarence. Hi, I, whoever you are. I, I lean I... very, very close to him. That, that was a persuasion check. Um, he doesn't look like a Clarence. He looks more like an Eric the Bunny Killer. Uh, With let's a 12? see. With a 12 versus his. Oh, it's a meet it, not beat it. So he's going to say, uh, No, my name's Clarence. At least it is ever since I got emancipated. Do you like that name? Eh. I'm gonna change it again. No, well, that's not my show name. That's just my name. What's your show name? Califar. Califar. Cauliflower? Yeah. Can you I... fly? Hold on. Before we start asking questions, we're being very, very rude. I am Carly. Nice to meet you. Why, it's a pleasure, and he, like, bows, but, you know, with four legs. And I return the bow. What and do I... Kind I... Of elbow, I kind of elbow Jim. Hey. What do I know about dragons? I, I, well, what do you know about dragons? <laughs> um, I'm gonna assume they're... Actually, it doesn't matter what I assume they are. Uh, 13? Uh, I mean, you know what these, I mean, you know, do you know what the lore says? Maybe a little more. You might have seen a dragon around a time or two during the shows from different, you know, troops. Okay, because he's a, he's a black dragon, 
which means he's evil. <laughs> show of strength is, is, is positive. So I'm honestly thinking my character would legit legitimately th thinking that cuffing him across the face would be the best show plan of action. Oh, I mean like the human, the mortals call me Gunther. He looks up at you and he's like, and then I and then I offer him my face. <laughs> He looks back at you and he pulls out a small, like, handkerchief and wipes his mouth and then smacks you with it. <laughs> He's like, I do believe that that, those, that was recompense. I believe they call those receipts. <laughs> Gesundheit. I wasn't trying to do damage. He he does it either, but it's it's very much like that courtesy slap with like the backwards handkerchief. He's like, hmm, mm hmm. Oh, sweet. Well, it appears that we are working with you this evening. Um, we assumed that you would be a little bit more unruly, um, but you seem quite civil. I do apologize for my prejudicial understanding of your kind. I like how these guys actually have names, so it makes copying them down so much easier. Yee. I try to make them unique-ish. Uh, he replies, oh, I find that when you're in the business, it is better to be cordial. Even if you're evil, that is our motto here. Isn't that right, Toro? Indeed. And you see him, like, cutting the head off of some random dude. Just like a random dude. Just, just, just a random dude. dude. You guys have no idea. He's just, like, chopping cool. his head off. I lean, over, I lean over to Jem and I say, I'm starting to feel a little less... A little less neutral. And that's it. To be fair, this guy didn't pay his taxes. Yeah, I mean, and that's, that's less random. Totally fair. Yeah. Um. Well, I said we have a good time. Uh, apparently, a large dragon is requirement of a large tent or a colossal tent. So. You will be in our care for the remainder of the day. Um, I do believe I can locate some very nice food for you. Uh, would a sheep do? I, I like sheep. I will. Uh, I will say that I prefer you, but you know, any will do. What yeah, do someone got that joke. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, we, we can definitely do that. Pregnant or not? Ah, uh, it's up to you. We'll, we'll, we'll see what the dice come out with. I motion to the dragon to start following me. He looks around and he's, he uh, looks over at Toro who hands you the leash. Okay. He look, And uh, Toro looks at you in the eyes very carefully and says, Don't let go of the leash. He's like, all right, later. I gotta go ride a griffin. What happens if we let go of the leash? Don't oh, this disaster. Go. Chaos. Dragons run free. <laughs> Super <laughs> mega hyper griffins that a troll can ride. <laughs> and then oh, it's off. Yeah, pretty much this is gone. This is my act. I play chess in the sky. <laughs> Spilled all of my dice because I forgot I didn't tie the bag. No. Oh no. So it's like a worse version of 52 pickup. 13 dice sets. Ooh. 13 times 7. Oh, and every time she comes, and every time she comes across a nat 20, she's gonna bitch. <laughs> it's like there it went. There it went. 91. 91. It's 91 dice pickup. Every time I find a D4 with my butt, I'm gonna cry. Oh, yeah, that's gonna be fun. Yeah, I have some metal dice in here. 
Oh, those are so good. They make such satisfying clacks. I hold the clacks. Alright. Yeah, sorry, sorry to distract from the game. Go ahead. Out of curiosity, who's going to be working this play? Well, that was going to be the illusionist. Who's what? That Sorry? Was gonna be, that was going to be the illusionist, the one with, uh... With the black dragon. The show. Oh, yeah. Well, if I don't need to illusion anything, well, what do we what do? We do? What, is our, what is our shtick? Well, that, that's what we need to get him back to the, uh, the tent for. Ah, oh, right, 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 right. We'll, we'll, tie, we'll tie him to the main pole. I, I can fashion up a, at least a couple of different beams where it'll rotate around the pole to keep him, let him fly and do whatever his his, his act is. You can Thank you. That out over there. Clarence, are you hungry? Did you eat lunch? Uh, I ate first lunch, but I haven't had second Z's. Fair enough. Well, whoa. What is that dead body still there? You know, that's a good question. It is. I, I kind of look at Clarence and I look at the dead body. Clean up crew? I'm aghast. But then he looks over at it like nervously, like then looks back, then he looks back like he can't help himself. Then he looks back, then he looks back and eats it. <laughs> I, I wait for him to finish. He's like, so you will tell me. <laughs> yeah, pretty yeah. much. <laughs> and it doesn't take him too long. He looks up, he's like, you will tell no one. <laughs> I will tell no one. I am a strict vegetarian. <laughs> I'm gonna tell everybody. I have really good hearing. That's like. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm a bard. I joke. <laughs> How busy is it on this side of the carnival this early? Uh, here it's actually even less busy since it's kind of like a dark, nighttimey affair. Like, there's barely anyone. Even the guys who like work are yeah. still like yeah they're yeah. basically you saw toral it, you saw a couple of the animals are out so even those a lot of them are nocturnal so you see they're like locked in dark cloth covered cages up here gotcha so really no chances over here uh th over here no no you're mostly yeah. gonna hear stuff over here over probably here where they're roasting the giant spider for food because there are people kind of gathered over there for food. And then obviously in your camp where things are actually going to start getting going here pretty much yeah. as the day progresses. Yeah, so I, I don't want to interrupt people's food or risk exposure of us basically trying to ask too many questions. So I, I'm just going to take the dragon and we're going to, after he's done eating, uh, if there's any mess left over, I'm going to pick it up. And then we're going to head towards our camp. If I find, like, a, a trash or something like that, I'll throw whatever was left over um, out. I am, as we walk back, I was, like, kind of, sort of, keeping a distance from the doll. Now I am actively keeping a distance from the doll. I think that now, just straight fuck that thing. Yep, now it's like, mm, mm. <laughs> That doll's free as fuck. I'm gonna walk away from it. I'm gonna keep my gem. Don't blame you. I don't blame you. I, uh... Jeb is intrigued by it, so she, she's gonna hang closer to think, try to figure it out. <laughs> oh, how could you? <laughs> I, try, I, try, I try to subtly, like, pull you away from it. I'm gonna... I'm gonna take a piece of paper out of my pocket and, and write a note on it and hand it to Jen. Uh, you two run, run ahead. We'll, we'll, we'll meet you there. They were gonna do the elephants, uh, so I so like go, go to your elephant tents, get get a situation there. Um, Wait, I'm doing the, elephants. The trapeze artists are doing elephants. You guys are the trapeze artists, right? Yeah, I mean, um, I'm down. The trapeze were gonna be over the elephants, and the elephants. Oh, that, would be, okay. Yeah. So we're out of distraction. So when the people actually handling the elephants mess up, there's something fun to look at. Got it. Correct. Um, and then that way you guys are also out of trample range, basically. Uh, but I'm gonna hand you guys both notes. Say, run along, uh, I'll, I'll meet you there when, when I'm ready to help out and get your, your set started. Uh, the piece of paper, all it says in common is just, you know, start your stretches, I'll worry about the doll. 
Jem hops and goes along. Yay. Okay. And I am my calmer now that we're walking away from that freaky doll. Um, so I know speak with animals. I can, I have that prepared. I can speak to some elephants. I really just want to speak to an animal. I don't care what at this point. Is that Ashley or Carly or both? Yes. <laughs> Globally, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I agree. That's, that's a great big global. The doll, uh, agree. The doll agrees. Oh god. I'll agree. <laughs> <laughs> Minor details. The, the doll spoke to you, I agree. Who, who the doll speak to? Oh, everyone who was in that Another. room. Good. Did I already walk away at that point? I don't know, whoever has walked away, bitch. By the way, uh, I will give this control to Gunter. That way he can... Yeah, you can. Okay. Which is actually really nice. Uh, speaking of, you do your thing. you've gotten right there, so uh, I would say roll for perception. No, perception's bad. It'll be nat, good. Uh, not nat 20, but 20. I was about to say nat shit, 20. nat 20, but 20 <laughs> is still pretty much the same. Uh... I usually just say not nat 20, and then that way you know I rolled a 20, but that it wasn't a 20. Am I rolling the 20? I haven't had to do a single fucking roll this entire time, and I feel great. <laughs> I was told to roll perception. I didn't want to. Am I rolling perception? Alright, so... Well, if you're anywhere near... We should see if you heard. I'm a pretty good distance away. I probably wouldn't have heard, right? I did try to try to get you guys out of there so that you would be un well unnerved. The doll the doll is thirty five feet away from So basically the people who are in front here would have triggered. Uh and basically right here where you're standing, a net has trap has triggered and you're gonna have to roll reflex. Oh no. Uh we're, we're gonna switch these. You've been betraying me. Rolling reflex is just them. Yep. What's reflex? Dexterity. Sorry, dexterity. God, I've got to oh, get used fine. to that. I think my, I think my dex is fine. Ah. If there's a little dot next to your X, keep in mind you add two to it. Oh, yeah, it's in your saving throw section. Uh, yeah. Saving throw. My dex. I was gonna say the, the, I was gonna say the proficiency should already be added in using. Okay, so I don't I don't add anything other than the plus five. Correct. Okay. Yeah, that sounds like a pretty hefty dex. Yeah, because if he has a sixteen or a seventeen dex, that's plus three, and proficiency should add plus two. Yep. So, um, I'm just so damn distracted by this fucking doll. So um, am I. <laughs> I got a nine. Whoa. <laughs> plus the two. Plus the five. The the plus the five. The the total roll is a nine. And I'm, I roll, I'm supposed to be good at this. I rolled a four. This, but I'm just gonna straight up say, get fucked. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Royally. <laughs> it happens. I'm, I'm so distracted by this creepy doll. I swear to God, it's looking at me. <laughs> oh, and it's the of inspiration is a bonus action, not a reflex. Yeah, that's what I tell. That's what I tell Jem as we're walking away. It's like Jem, I swear to God, that doll's looking at me. It's so creepy. And then whatever happens, happens. She accepts her fate. I accept my fate. Ooh. I can't do anything else. Ooh, I, I might. Do I want to use the thing. What happens? <laughs> so basically, if you've got lower than a fifteen, you have been caught up by the net because it was a very well hidden net. And you are now in the air, if you were these two. The perception roll was for the noise that is currently coming from behind you. The way you just came. Uh, and it was a large shattering noise. 
So I'm sitting here tangled up in the net, and I turn to Gem, and I say, really fucking less neutral. <laughs> oh, agreed. <laughs> what is that? Do you have a dagger or something? Get out of this fucking net? That's a good question. Can, can I have a dagger. Have a dagger. I, I do have a dagger. Say, can I pull out my bow and shoot this fucking rope this whole I angrily start cutting the dagger, cutting the ropes to get out of this net. I would love to see her cut the dagger. I absolutely <laughs> believe that that should be a pretty easy free action. Uh, you can fail it, but you guys are adventurers and you should be able to cut a note. A... I'm level four. <laughs> we're not adventurers. We're carnies. There's a. Oh, level four. I I but level being four. a carny is an adventure. Do I want to, do I want I'm a level thing? four bardic carny. I can cut a fucking rope with a dagger. Do I want to do, do the thing? thing. I'm gonna do the thing. See if I do the thing. Does she explode? I don't do the thing. <laughs> I'm not doing the thing. I'm saving it. <sighs> you sure? And I cut us free. I'm All right, sure. you. The dice said I don't do the thing. <laughs> well then, if the dice said it, I mean, I can't argue with that. Exactly. Said even God can't argue with twenty or a one. Wait a minute. Yes, like <laughs> no, but I don't. Uh, but yeah, you. Uh, for anybody who rolled less than a fifteen perception, you did not hear the cracking noise from behind. Oh, I, did I roll perception? Am I supposed to roll? Perception? Oh, I, I didn't roll perception. Sorry. I, I rolled perception. Okay, I'll get my dice back out. Hold on. No worries. I'll, I'll roll a perception. Oh, Sorry. No, you're good. Sometimes I'm a little quiet or not direct enough, and it's oftentimes tough with a bunch of people. But it's all good. There, there's my perception. Yeah, you you heard it. Let's yeah. see. Do I hear it? Come on, Wedge. 14 plus perception. You're good at, your lowest modifier is like a two, I think, based on what we made. 18. I got an 18. I got 18 while I'm all caught up in a net. Yeah, you heard it coming. I mean, you didn't have anything else to do. You were in a net. Heard it coming? What's coming? Fire? Ah! Acid bolt? <laughs> Fireball! Disintegrate? Meteor swarm? Power word yeah, kill? Yeah. Power word kill? <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is... It? That is quickly. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I know. No. I mean, at least Meteor Swarm we could potentially do. Who <laughs> <Okay>. saves for half? <laughs> it's a little bigger than I want it to be, but it's because it's not sized it's... correctly. Oh god. It's, uh -oh. it's a mass polymorph. We all get turned into chickens. What is that? That, my friends, looks like a T Rex. So I, all the dinosaurs do the mighty. I heard this thing coming, and so I'm just frantically cutting out, cutting us out of a net. Yeah, um, that this I'm is <laughs> on the other side of the camp, <laughs> in the safety of my home. Yeah, he's <laughs> just like I'm feeling real good about myself right now for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> Thing, right? Uh, yes. Any well, anyone who made that perception roll should be aware of this thing. Uh, anybody else did not look behind them. You said it was fifteen or better. Yep. I think most people should have got it. So. No, I rolled a two plus. Oh yeah, you ain't got no clue. Then you're just like freaking out over the doll still. That and I'm upside down. Yeah, in a net, freaking out about a doll. We're both trapped in a net together, by the way. Well, you should be out of it by the end of your turn. Oh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. I cut us out of the net. We're out of the net now. So it shouldn't take too long. That is going okay. to be a reflex. Oh, yeah. Uh, dexterity yeah, save, yeah. Oh, yeah. Also, the net was not like... It was like five or ten feet off the ground, so... Okay, dice jail for both of these. Holy crap. <laughs> oh, man. Do I, have to roll, do I have to roll anything for falling out of the net with a dagger five feet? Uh, I mean, just the regular reflex roll. I guess you might take more damage from landing on your dagger if you roll one, but... I don't want to land on my dagger. Who well, taught me knife roll. safety? What, Yasha? 
Well, nice whoever safety. taught you night safety probably didn't teach it to you while hanging upside down, suspended in a net while a T-Rex was coming at you. <laughs> that is also true. There's a reason I, le I left home at 15. Uh, okay, nat 20. Well, yeah, now you flip and do a like, nice graceful landing while you pocket your knife at the same time. Just like, whoosh, whoosh, cheek. Superhero landing, superhero landing. Oh, she's gonna do it, she's gonna do it. Super, super landing. Three-point landing, boom. Knife clenched in. And uh, basically you do that and then, uh, you know, our other friendly net person falls on their ass next to you, I assume. <laughs> Just thunk. Fair. Just look next to I like... Over. I look over at her and laugh. Speaking of, I feel like this is a good time to roll initiative. Let's roll initiative. I got a plus four to that. It's fine. I got a plus eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve. All right. And so what I'm going to do is add everyone to the turn order, and then you can add your own number to the turn thingy. You know, I got a nice initiative. I like it. I got a good I, initiative. I'm already on the initiative track. Ooh. Oh, oh yeah. It. Hell yeah for macros. Told you, man, those macros are lovely. If you, Once you set them. Uh, Diffy, roll for initiative. What? Where's me? I'm working on it. Wait, oh, where is you? There they are. Alright, man. Oh, what did you get? 19. Jesus. Yeah, she got a good one. Holy fuck balls. It's actually a really big list of good, uh... Let me type. It's 11 initiative to stay in the tent every round. I feel like you feel this on the... Because that's the thing. This is something that you would feel. What? That, uh, this is going on? Uh, well, you'll see in a second. Oh, God. Because I haven't gotten to describe this so, thing yet. So should, so should I actually roll initiative? No, you don't have to. It's not like near you for that. I mean, you can do stuff afterwards, but you're still out of combat, so you don't need to do initiative. Uh, but basically, the thing in front of you guys, as you turn around and hear the snap, you see one of the cages from the area you just left break, and a partially desiccated Tyrannosaurus step out of it, missing chunks of its leg, face, and upper torso. What is desiccated? Uh, basically dry looking. Yep. Oh. You know, like how General Mummy looks. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yes. I don't know words good. It's all right. Words is hard. I know some words, not a lot. But uh, yeah, this thing looks like it's like missing chunks of its body. Uh, it's really dry, as if it's been around a long time. Uh, and yeah. How do I do the finding out how far they are from me? Uh, you click the, up the upper left, you'll see that little bar, you click the fourth one down. And then you can use it to drag when you click. Oh, cool. Thank you. Yes. Whoa. I have nothing that will reach that thing. Not even my crossbow. Well, well, now my crossbow can reach, but I'd just be a disadvantage. And that's why I have sharpshooter. I have advantage up to 600 fucking... Oh god, 90... That's a... Is that a heavy crossbow? Mine's just a regular crossbow light. Range 80 to 220. And... Mine. Mine's a longbow, so I have a range of 1 to 600. I'm a, I'm a lover, not a fighter. I'm a... I'm something. Which don't talk about himself that much. <laughs> you got a creepy doll, what you got? Oh, I got a creepy doll now. 
feel like if we would have noticed that sooner or less, if we hadn't been talking, we would have uh, figured out the story with this fucking doll. I mean, shit, you didn't even notice me get up from the table with those seven wait, you guys. No. Up. No, no, we didn't. <laughs> Listen, we're friends. We talk. We like to talk shit. I took that as an advantage. <laughs> you guys are all chatty, chatty. Some <sighs> Fine, if you wanna be like that. No, uh, I mean it's not my fault. The doll is taking a blanket to quiet. Doesn't say anything. <laughs> That's so creepy. <laughs> and I swear to God, it's looking at me. Is it though? Is it? So it's the doll's turn. Ah, wait, how can I have higher initiative than the doll? I'm just oh, on the list. Sorry. I will move the list. Sorry, I have I was still waiting last time I had looked, but we're good now. Alright, okay. so. It is your turn. Good luck. <laughs> I gotta play it. Okay. So Is it to run away? No. <laughs> Could it be to run away? away? Are you out of the net? Yeah, I'm out of the net. Of the oh net. crap, I have to use half my movement. Did you fail that badly on your deck save? I rolled a natural two. Oh. And I was on the butt. <laughs> yeah, she was. And then I'm just sitting there laughing at you instead of helping. Oh, you didn't get you didn't get hurt. But you did like fall I on your butt. I'm on my butt. Yo. On okay. your bum. Um. Alright. I'm gonna go to here and I'm going to ready a um an arrow in my short bow. Until the T Rex looks act of, like, getting ready to actually attack someone. All the typing. Oh yeah, there's lots going on. Oh, you know it. Dude, that's all you're speaking to us, but she's speaking to God. Ah! Creepy! Religious. Oh. I am a god. Alright, so I'm holding my action until the T Rex actually looks like it's gonna attack someone or something. Sorry about that, I was making sure everything on the side was good. <laughs> God damn, look at that movement on that doll. On what? Look at the movement on the doll, 19. Yeah, the doll got a 19. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of... That, that, that doll is dexterous. Speaking of was... The... momentarily step away? No worries. Can you remind me of your uh, secondary action again? Me? Yeah, because you had gotten up, which really is just a movement. Oh, crap. Uh, so, 5, 10, 15, 20. Because it's getting up as half speed. Half my movement? Yeah, I believe so, yeah. Okay, so I'll be back there then. Yeah. But, you, but it doesn't take any actions. Um, an arrow holding to let go until it looks like it's actually going to attack. Okay, that is a good idea. So you're prepped and ready. Yes. Oh lord, it just skipped like 10 people for no reason. <laughs> that means it's Timmy's turn! And it looks like 
looks like they walked away. They're muted. <laughs> Not the doll. Not like this. I think uh, Divi's here. She's just getting getting her motivation for her character scene. And scene! Uh -huh. <laughs> Yay. I had the thing. Oh, Gambit, yeah, don't. She cast porcelain crack. <laughs> I don't porcelain crack. I'll cast wood bolt. You know, I have a spell called Shatter. Hey, rude. <laughs> don't be fucking looking at me! <laughs> this one does not appreciate being. Being what? Yes. This one, this one is adorable. <laughs> I'm creeped. You're giving me the heebies. Ah, uh, grow a spine. You'll be fine. I'm a bard. I don't need to have a spine. The gambler okay, yes, here. on the spot where I should be. Hi, Pito. <laughs> Do I need to roll for? A yeah, you have to, yeah, you have to make a range spell attack. All right. Um, Gambit's kind of his head is in the way. <laughs> Cat or dog? Dog. I love him. Yeah. He, Gambit's I, amazing. He his head is literally where I should. <laughs> Gambit is best boy. He is the goodest boy. Mm -hmm. Uh. Okay. Let me see if I go more else. B. Make it so hard for mommy. Okay. Oof. Wait. My boss really liked my cat because he kept appearing at the side of my zoom screen, just peering in and then peering back out. <laughs> so 15, I think it's plus 6. Then. I believe... That is a hit. Yay. Damn it. Okay, fine, you can just stay there. I'll just... Let's do some more. <laughs> 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 and so now you roll a 1d12 yeah but then he moved his head from where it was where I rolled so I'm gonna have to find a new spot every time I roll which isn't great alright so 9 oh 2d12 uh yeah oh that is right because you are high, level higher oh shit two nines holy shit nice so it's 18. Yeah. yay and that's a repeatable thing right yes as long as you continue concentrating on that spell all right so i concentrate you can, on that uh and so on each of your turns for the duration you can use your action to deal thing but that's going to have to be your next one because you used your action this turn do it on that Cool. I just stay on the dude while I do with concentrate. Alrighty. Sounds good. That makes it the next person's turn. Alright. Um, so, can I use a free action to throw some pal drops out in this little area right around? No. Yeah. Hmm. Or would that be a bonus instead of a free action? I'm gonna say bonus because it's not something you would necessarily, especially if you wanted to throw them effectively, it's not something you would do uh, too haphazardly. Like, you would need to throw it in the direction to cover the wide enough spread that you would want to, so you would be able to do it quickly, but not like as quickly as drawing your sword necessarily. Okay. So, I will use my bonus action to. Unrelated. To like basically, open up the bag of caltrops and just kind of spread them out. So there's 20 caltrops about in this general vicinity, kind of spread out. Alrighty. I think caltrops cover five feet. Can't remember. Uh, that is a good question. Get it. Um, cover a square area that is five feet on a side. And so basically a square. 
Um, well, it is a pretty big creature, so if I step on the square, I don't know, we'll find out. I mean, it is pretty big. Uh, where are we putting your caltrops, buddy? Uh, about, about right here. Alright, let's... Yay. And I'm gonna give him a name, Michael's bitch ass caltrop. No, <laughs> That Anyways, he after. used on a dinosaur. <laughs> hey. Hey, it works, man. They do damage. They not only do damage, but if they take damage, they reduce the walking speed by 10 feet until they regain at least one hit point. I always wanted to release a magic item into my games with Legos. They worked as cow traps, but the dice exploded. Oh, Jesus. Anyways, after I do that, I'm going to... Since I don't... So what I will do is I will I go about right here that's it. And since Diffie's on my shoulder she's still kind of and I will uh, draw my bow and fire my longbow at it for my actual action. Alrighty, that should cover the rest of your actions. So go ahead and make your roll, sir. Yep, I need to see what my hit dice. Is. Okay, so it's one d twenty plus. Mond, baby. Well then, hmm. that one. Do I get hit in the back of my head? Um. <laughs> let me uh, let's make some rolls here. I feel like fairness yeah, is always. Hold hold up <laughs> before before this happens. Since I rolled a nat one, I'm gonna roll a d100. <laughs> oh, Actual choose higher or low. All right, we'll go low. All right. If it's low, like Axel called, I drew a qu an arrow from my poison quiver. If it's high, it was normal. Okay, Lucky. normal. Yes, it was a normal arrow I pulled out of poison. Lucky you. Now it's my turn. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta make some rolls, so uh, high or low, Michael? You know, let's go high. I'm not even looking at the screen right now because I'm pissed off at that fucking one. Alright, good to know. And just as a bonus one, roll a d20. Oh, okay. No bonuses? No bonuses, just random luck. Hey! Ho! Alright, so you shot a very... Badly and shot this person. <gasps> Shit, no! Lots of missiles! The thing is, is you can only, I believe you can only use deflect missiles if you can see it come. I'd have to double check. And you are hit by a ranged weapon attack. Apparently, he's called Wedge because he drives a wedge in this party. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, your fucking doll's doing it for you. True. <laughs> Alright, well... I love your doll, though. By, it's still great. It's reduced by 1d10 plus your dex modifier and your monk level. So, I'm gonna have to roll damage for it. And I'll get the d10. What's my damage? 1d8 plus 3. Damn it, why are you so cute? Oh, speaking of, you also dropped the doll. Oh, hey. no. <laughs> Who is unhappy about said thing? Like visible doll frown. So here's my here's my one d eight plus three for the damage of the longbow. Seven. All right. Well, you, yeah, you automatically. I automatically reduce that. Yep. Because it's plus eight. And now no. you you could you choose to right. use a key point to redirect it if you so chose. If Restrict it at the hand, dinosaur. I don't have a free hand technically. Mm, okay then. So 
essentially, I just dodge out of the way to deflect missiles. He's just like, bam, get out of here. But yeah, that uh, that happened. Because I still I still have my arrow knocked and ready to go. I just haven't fired. Yet. Yeah. She's so then it's a dinosaur's turn. See how fast is the dinosaur? One, two, three, four, five, six. Aw. Wait, it has to go to the left a little. Seven. Eight. All right, so it steps on the caltrops, which means uh, it, it needs to make a save. Make a dex save of a DC 15 dex. Ha! Get fucked. So it's the wow. Or some shit like that. Wow. <laughs> oh. Can I go back to not having to roll shit? Isn't it funnier though when you can see what I roll instead of just believing me when I tell you? I was like, yeah, it's like I, just, I suck at rolling except for when it like really, really annoys you. <laughs> Doesn't even hurt you, just annoy. Uh, but yeah, so that does not stop him. Beauregard? Yep, nope. Uh, it's... Regard, my cat. Sorry. Uh, unfortunately, he's also cannot. I don't think he's really in range. Mate, he might be in range of Clarence. No, Clarence, no. Yeah, you guys need Clarence. I like Clarence. He bowed. Oh, man, Clarence, no. <laughs> Is he actively looking like he's going to hurt me? Someone that I need. Yeah, probably. I let go. All right. So you're sh you're using your reaction shot. Um, my held action. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So feel free to make that attack. Oh. Six is thirteen. Ah, uh, yes, that is a hit. Oh. This is a pretty big target here. Like well, it's also a uh, undead, so. Uh, yeah. yeah it doesn't really have so shit. It's probably pretty slow. <laughs> look at me! I roll a one and fuck yeah, everything. Yeah, it, oh. it really is. Somehow has high speed still, though. Huh. Yeah, right? Uh, speed is not based on dexterity, said. So. That's true. It is true, piercing. but it should be. Uh, six piercing, you said? Yeah. Well, too bad undead is resistant. Uh, only certain undead are resistant to piercing. Cert oh, so it's not just a general. Out. What a shame. I said no, 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 no. Yeah, it's 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 dependent in this version. Any? Yeah, they the they changed a lot in five E. I'm not gonna lie. I like a lot of five E. It makes things a lot faster sometimes. But there are some things in three five I miss that just had like very specific ways that I didn't have to think about shit. It was just like, did you ever wonder what would happen if your beholder became a werewolf and then took on the divine class? Well, we have the answer for. You. <laughs> that sounds really fucked up. Why would you do such a thing? Look, man, I didn't make the rules. I just took advantage of them and am now using them to attack this dragon. Speaking of, fuck you, Clarence. Clarence, no. Actually, Clarence might be okay. Oh no, Clarence is actually. I gotta go look at all Clarence's shit too. Fuck. This is Damn you! you play D &D against yourself. Yeah, I could should never have done it again. It was bad enough the first time. I always lost. Does anyone have a sneaking suspicion that Clarence really is a duck? <clears throat> no, 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 I don't. The duck. <laughs> Cause that means the other one's not far behind. Someone's not a fan of Catharsis. God no. <laughs> Maybe the T Rex is Catharsis. <clears throat> I think I knew who Catharsis was, but I'm not saying. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, we're not gonna talk about those guys. <laughs> Uh, any, anyway, he did indeed, unfortunately, hit our young dragon friend. Cathars is my lord and savior. Hashtag all hell, Donnie! <laughs> uh, 
Uh, and he did a pretty decent, you see him take a pretty decent chunk out of uh, Clarence. Clarence is like, you son of a bitch. My Clarence, will you wash your mouth? You can't say Clarence without a southern accent. It's true. And now... I can. Clarence. And now it makes its second attack, which is also a hit. I actually understand that movie reference. I don't understand it, but it's still funny. It's, uh... Oh, shoot. It's a wonderful life. Oh, Lord. Yeah, no. No. Why, would you, why would you quote it? Why? And now it's Clarence the Dragon's turn. Um, controlled with it for my entire life because my brother is <laughs> And Clarence is gonna be like, "Flee, mortals!" Uh, and he's gonna go to like right here, but he is on a chain, and then he's gonna be like, "Shit, I want a chain." And uh, what is Clarence gonna do? Why does it keep taking me to the wrong dragon? It's fine. Because it wants it to be the right dragon. Alright, so he's going to breathe, uh, you know, whatever the black dragons breathe again. I believe it's acid. Probably is. Uh, where the f How did I lose him again? Okay. Said I had the page open, but it keeps uh, doing things. Yep, acid breath. And. It's a 30 foot line. Um, Unfortunately, and... somehow this nimble, shitty fucking thing got the save. It has a it has a minus two, but I rolled seventeen. Jesus Christ, dude! Stop, stop rolling, bud. I'm, dude. You can even see I'm not fudging him or anything. I know, I know. <laughs> Having said that, he still does take damage. I mean, it's half damage. He dodges, but he still gets hit. So, uh, Clarence is like, "Fuck you, burn you, bitch." Uh, which should be something like that. Seventeen minus that should be. Oh no, that was already in. Why wasn't that there? That should have been. That's a good Kit Kat. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. And Clarence's turn is over. Okay, then it's my turn. So I'm gonna come up right here. I'm gonna make sure I can do that. Yep, I'm gonna come up right. God damn it. Uh, I'm gonna come up right here. To beside Gem, and I'm going to cast Bane on the dragon. Would you please, for me? The T Rex. Sorry, the T Rex. Uh, I'm going to cast Bane on the T Rex. Uh, will you please roll a charisma save? Alrighty. Which, hopefully, this thing doesn't have good charisma, man. Can I did, the did the dragon make an attack of opportunity on the black dragon? Or did the T Rex make an attack on the dragon from moving away? He did not. That is a good point. Although, and I was going to check that. Remind the DM of these things? No, no, no. He <laughs> used... Oh he can't. He, uh, he used one of his uh, action attack actions to disengage as opposed to multi-attacking. Because he has three attacks. Gotcha. Uh, having said that, uh, the T-Rex did not make that save. Yeah, you did not make that save. So now, um, whenever you make an attack roll or saving throw, you must distract a d4 from the number. Um, and then I'm going to cast... It's first level spells and cantrips that we can cast together, right? So casting a spell is the standard action. Yeah. 
But is it if it's labeled as a bonus action? If it's labeled as a bonus action, then yeah, you can take that one as well. Yeah. yeah. And it doesn't and it doesn't matter what type of spell. It doesn't matter whether it's candy yeah. or level one. Level nine. Bonus yeah. Action, different. Okay. Yeah. Well then. Mm. Then different rules. Uh, yeah. I Please. casted bane. Yeah. So and then I'm going to go one two one two three. The remainder of my five feet over here. Wait, that's not how that math works. That's what's uh, right. 20 feet to get from here to there. So I've got one, or wait, 25, 30, 30, 30. So I'm right behind the dragon. I don't want to be there. <laughs> this is, it's like, Clarence is just like, I do declare. I'm going to go back here. All righty. Okay, Carly did did the things. It is now Gunter's turn. Finally, Gunter. Meandering thoughts. A dark black dragon attacks because of the bard. Bardic inspiration on Clarence. Sweet. Going, as I inspire him, uh, a dark, angry purple note begins to circle around him. He gets note of destruction. Immediately after attacking, the creature may roll Bardic Inspiration die. If he does so, he may roll a second. Uh, he may add it to an attack roll, and it becomes a Thunder-based attack. Ooh. That's an interesting adjuster. I like what um, they did with Bards in 5e. Oh man, I could have done Bardic Inspiration. Alright, next time. Bardic Inspiration is a bonus action. <laughs> it is one of the bonus best. Action. It is one of the yeah, best yeah. Bard spells. It is literally just like, Inspire! 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 I've been inspired all day, god damn it. I've yes. never played a Bard before. The Bard is a very great class in many ways. Mm -hmm. Especially in this version, I will say. This version gave the Bard a lot of love. And I appreciate it. I fumble around in my coat and mutter to myself, Come on, Jiminy, where the hell are you? And then I pull out a cricket. Oh, sh <laughs> And then I whistle. And then I mutter arcane uh, verbals to cast sleep at level two. Oh, shit. I don't think this T-Rex can be at level two sleep. It has awful uh, resistance. It's save DC still going to be 14. For whatever reason, spell level here. doesn't matter. Yeah, it's, that is it is always so weird for that. It's always it should at least go up after a while. Oh, I just oh wait. don't know if he if he has like what he has for HD. So I'm just. What was the uh, was it a con save right? Uh, minus a D four. It is a. Ooh, that's a right. Sleep. And minus a D four. For sleep. For yeah, sleep. For sleep, it is a if it, if the creature in question has has matches it. Or, you know, above oh, it. Oh, it has... Eagles. Yeah, but we're trying to figure out what... what. Uh... One sec. I gotta double check that to see how many hit dice it has. Oh, and I just closed the wrong so goddamn page. You gotta figure page. out the hit points first, wouldn't you? I'm, I'm, yeah. roll, I'm rolling 10d8. Or, sorry, sorry, 7d8. So if he's at least level 7, doesn't matter. I think he is... Up above that, just based on his okay. hit dice. So he's gonna be able to, yeah, resist this sleep, unfortunately. Well, no, I, I get to roll the die though. So oh, that's I right, yeah. I have to roll that, 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 that many d8s. Oh, so lord. So d8. Which we, I start with five, I get an additional two for casting it at one level, level above, two. makes it seven. 39. Is he level 39? No. Yeah. No. I don't think he's level 39. He's only got 13 hit points. He does or 13 hit die. He does not have 39 hit die. Uh you are good to set him to sleep, I'm pretty sure. Um but he needs to make the save. Is it no, there's no save? No I don't save? think there's a save. Yeah, no, it it is a hundred percent based on how much health they have. It is a weird ass spell in this version. Yeah. But I mean okay. it's cool. Uh but yeah. And you can affect yep. multiple creatures if you'd like. Um, um, and as a remember, uh, they well, fall unconscious. Feet. That's true. I'm just saying, so, if there were other things, you could use it. Are there other <laughs> actual creatures around him that just aren't on the map? Uh, Clarence? But, yeah, no. Clarence besides... isn't within 20, 20 feet of the actual map. Oh, yeah, he's not. I think he's, like, I think he's at 15. Oh, yeah, he's right there. 
Okay. I, I don't put Clarence to sleep. N nothing Besides, though, yeah, no. Uh, in these tents, no. So he would have come from right. just the other side so of the, over him. here. Yeah. He's pretty yeah, much I'm the only one. Party oh. Oh. Everything I just, is. I just read the second part of this though. The very la why do they put these notes at the undead end? Are immune to being charmed and aren't affected. But is it an undead T Rex? Yes. 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 Is, he, is he obviously undead? <laughs> yeah, we yeah. talked about him like missing chunks of his body and being desiccated a little earlier. I missed that. I'm sorry. Well, it, I it, the spell. It it happens. I I'm more pissed at the description. Why is that at the end? That's something it, that it should be at the beginning. It, it wouldn't have mattered because I didn't know the, the T-Rex. No, no, that. I know. But I mean, for me personally as a reader, that annoys me. That's something that nullifies the need to read the rest of the description for me once I read it. It should be yeah. at the start of the spell that this spell does not work on undead and creatures immune to being charmed. God, I'm really because I, I would have used Thunder Wave instead. Thunder Wave! I'm really sad because I wish it would have worked because that's a better resolution to this than the other way, which is killing somebody's T Rex. Um, I take a five. No, because I can't take a five foot step. Said, I would be willing to give you your spell back because of the shitty wording on that spell. Cause like I said, I read through the. I had to. Get my spell back. I'm casting Thunder Wave. Yeah, go ahead. Feel free to cast Thunder Wave. I hate how they did that. Uh, All needs, of the spells in this are like that. He's gonna need to make a Con 14 save. All right, so let's see. He might resist this anyway, but nope, nope. Oh wait, nope, nope. I barely missed it, even with his bonus. And then at second level, I'm adding a 1d8 to it, so I'm rolling 3d8. Okay. You are gonna take some damage here, boys. Am I in the 13. Thunderwave range? Oh, shit. No, it's a 15 cube in front of me. Yes, he gets. Yeah, that we, I remember talking with this about about this with somebody else in another game. It is a 15-foot cube placed in front of him, not expanding outward from him. There is a different spell, and it ends in the word blast. Yeah. Thunderwave is... is a, uh, away from me. <laughs> yeah, because it just says a 15-foot cube originating from you, so... So that's why I'm like, uh... Yep, so 50 feet directly in front of me, and okay. then you. Yeah, it was, I've, I've, I've actually talked with someone in habit. we went and watched a video about it so that we could confirm it. Push 10 feet away. Yep. Yeah, um, yeah. I remember that conversation, it was with Brooke and I was there. Yep, that, it was an interesting one, and then it ended up we were both talking about something different anyway. Yep. Uh, but yeah, he definitely takes that, and it was 13, right? Yeah, 13. In the shower. Okay. Right, yeah, wet. okay. And he's he's looking like more chunks are falling off of him. Uh looking a little irritated. Also, I will say he pushed him back through the cow traps, so he has to make a save on that. Dex 14. He did not make the save, so he takes one damage, he can't move until he gets I feel like we were all laughing no, at the cow no. traps and they've came it up more. He can be moved, but he loses ten feet of movement. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Future movie. Oh, it's... Alright, so they're trying to make it as if it's stuck in his foot, which... Yeah, I mean, that's yes, not that bad. Yes, reduces walking speed by 10 feet until the creature regains at least one hit point. Which they changed oh, the way Undead. <laughs> Quickly! Save it! Cast Cure Wounds. Wouldn't that do the opposite? Cure it! <laughs> Speaking of, uh, now that Gunter's turn is done. I hated that camp so much. <laughs> Just so fucking much. To be fair, you were one of the biggest problems with that campaign. <laughs> no, no, the biggest problem with that fucking campaign was Sir Alfred Coconut and the fucking. <laughs> fucking sentient ass goddamn coconut bastard. I thought the problem was the the, the military tactics. <laughs> That's too much thinking. It is a lot. It was too much going on for that. I will admit there. I, it's 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 a foray that I don't want to do. Anyway, yes. That makes it. Oh lord. 
I think Geminara's turn. Am I still muted? Nope, no, not I'm not anymore. Okay. There you go. Sorry, I was talking with my mom, so I was like trying not to do the thing. But I'm going to I'm going to listen to um, Clarence. I'm getting out of dodge. And let's see. So, uh, where's the description of the thing? So I'm going to, I don't want the, actually, so I'm going, where did we come out of, over, uh, over, over here? Yeah. Like where I'm doing the, yeah, that, that's, down. it was in those, one of those two general areas, they're pretty close. 60, okay. 70 feet apart. That's not that bad. <laughs> I was going to say, no, if 60 to 80 some feet is relatively close. Then... I can shoot you from that far. How about that? <laughs> I mean, I can shoot you from like 600 feet away, but that's besides the point. <laughs> Alright, so. It's like he's... Standard moving there. Action to. Actually. Mm. You can always action and then movement. Oh, I'm, I'm debating on using my action and my bonus action to run. <laughs> because I can do that as a monk. And that's definitely also, up to you. Monks is they get the additional ten feet of movement. Yeah, I've got forty feet. I've got an action, and then I got a step of the wind, which is I can use dash as my bonus action. So I essentially double dash, and I get out. But we're just going to use my normal and go over there. Alrighty. So I dashed. Okay, I figured you took the dash action. Yeah. All I'm right. not going to do my bonus to step of the wind. Uh, with that being said, unless you want to use any other bonus actions, it will be Hinagami's turn. Speaking of licking like a ball, but using witch bolts again. Okay. Out of, out, of, out of character stuff. Her name's not Hinigami. It's Azuva. Is it beyond yeah. the damn sheet? Yeah, I yeah. didn't have her name yet when I did it, and I haven't been able to get on back on the computer to check. Oh, forgive me. All right, I will try to remember. Um. I mean, but uh, you should be able to just reactivate that and do another two. Wait, is it one or two d twelve? I think it's two d twelve. Yeah, because I think once I do it the first time, it automatic. Yeah, you don't have to roll again to hit. All right, a seven for one. Ooh, and a ten for two. <laughs> okay, so seventeen. 17. Not bad. Yeah. Uh, it's it's definitely it looking a little worse for wear there. And we're, I was also going to say, we're probably hitting about the time where we got to stop here because I know Diffie's probably got to go in just I, a I minute. I could stay a little too. longer it, unless I just, yeah. Okay. So, like I said, it should take a little bit longer to finish this and get to another stopping point, but I figured it, at that point it would be about time. Yeah. Having said that, it is now Wedge's turn to hopefully not fuck shit up. Get him, Rogue 3. Just lucky I didn't make your bow snap. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm thankful for that, Axel. I was debating, but I'm like, nah, he went through all the trouble to make the venom bullshit. As, uh, as a, uh, response to how horrible I'm actually going to, uh, turn around. I'm going to uh, start casting Long Strider, and then I'm going to touch myself. Myself Long Strider. Uh, my speed is increased by 10 feet until the spell ends. It lasts for one hour. And after I do that, um, run motherfucker away. With Azuva still on my shoulder. So I got four. There and dash that 
make it so I can eat. Yeah. Is the spell you cast action or bonus action? It is an action. I believe dash so or is it print? Dash, I believe, is a regular action. Yeah. I have a bunk thing. Yeah, he, that gives him an extra, it. yeah. You can, I believe there is something that will give you four times, but then you end up with like a level of exhaustion afterwards or something. Something like that, I don't see. Uh, no, I don't have anything. All right, yeah, sprinting is basically the access. But next time, your next turn, you can run with your normal movement, then dash with the extra, it would then be extra 20 feet between both of those. Yep, I'm just running the fuck away. I ain't fucking shit. My character's literally, I don't know what the fuck happened. I really don't fucking care. So fuck this shit, I'm out. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Are you undoing my witch pole? <laughs> I mean, you're on my shoulder. I guess so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> At which point the uh it is now the T Rex's turn and it goes back forward through the couch drops again. Which it uh, it failed the deck save, takes one more point of damage. Oh uh, wait uh yeah, it probably has bad decks. It does have bad decks. Okay. And its speed is theoretically lowered again. I guess. Uh, I don't know. I'm, it doesn't say it stacks, but I would assume it kind of stacks. I don't know. But it comes forward and it's going to attack Gunter. Oh, poor Gunter. And uh, with a plus 10 on its attack roll. Oh, buddy. Holy balls. It definitely hits there. Um, it was, it was nice knowing you, Gunter. Gunter, no. And, uh, uh, at this point, this is where I actually step away for a moment, because I don't want to see the death of a party member. Uh, having said that, uh, it's going to do 33 damage. Uh, and if the target is a medium or smaller creature, it is grappled. Escape DC 17. Until this grapple ends, the target is restrained, and the Tyrannosaurus zombie can't bite another target or disgorge zombies. Are you up? No, I'm down. I'm negative two. <gasps> Oof. And he is... And that would put him in the jaws of a uh, Tyrannosaurus zombie. Which, if he attacks again, I automatically get... It could be a bad thing. Speaking of, it still has an attack. But uh, it's going to use that attack on Clarence. Uh, Clarence... against the T-Rex. Clarence the dragon is going to be like, oh, yeah, I did. I thunderwaved him. shit, boys. I told you this might happen. Did he let go of the rope? Where did he put him? There we go. I'm unconscious. The rope. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. So Clarence is going to go ahead and peace out. He's going to be like, I apologize. And not only that, Clarence is going to fly into the sky and peace oh. this direction. <laughs> no. Which makes it our surprise party member who has arrived's turn. Uh, okay. Hmm. Well, that, that adds a complication to things. So, okay. Gosh, that, the fact that, so it's in its, it's the, who's in its mouth right now? Gunther. Gunther. Also, isn't this your character over here? Both of, both of these are mine. Right, right. I don't, I don't have, uh. Drago on this one, so the green one's Drago. Okay, cool. The one with the green Sorry, one. yeah, I forgot. I knew I forgot to drag something over. I was like, damn. No worries. Um, um, so currently, that thing is 
60 feet away from you or so. And you are starting your turn, so you have full movement, etc. Yes, okay. So... Golly days. Um... Oh! Um, I will have... I will have... Drago uses 50 feet. Probably get like right around there or so. Alrighty. Uh, do, do, oh, 40 right there. So I can actually get right up next to it. Yeet. There I go. Um, I will. Oof. Oofta. I'm going to use a bonus action to turn out of my lioness form back into Evita. And hold on. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to see what I can do with Drago. Where is that? Uh, shoot. I can make it a, do stuff as my action. So. It, it has just done 50 feet of sprinting and I'm going to use his pounce feature uh, to move at least 20 feet straight towards a creature and then hits with claw attack so I'm going to be using a claw attack so let's go ahead and do that I'll use my claw attack with Drago. Evita will tell Drago to attack with the claws. So it's a plus six to hit. Uh, it's an 18 to hit. That is a hit. Okay. And then I'll do 1d4 plus two. So that's only three damage. But... Um, that target must make a... DC 12 strength saving throw. Oh man. Damn it. That's my only crit of the night, too. Damn it. Minus four? Ooh, that's true. But, I mean, yeah, it's like still DC gonna. 12. Yeah. yeah that's good under 16. Eh. Yeah. So. Yeah, he doesn't. The the T Rex doesn't go prone. I will also say the T Rex has a strength of plus seven. Yeah, it was. I mean, it was something to try and do something to. Yeah, it was a good idea. Dislodge him from the mouth. Speaking of, it's Carly's turn. Healing. I. Okay. Um. So what I'm going to do is ask DM. Uh, can the unconscious hear? Hmm. Hmm. I think so. I mean, they can hear, understand, maybe not, but they can hear for sure. Doesn't need to understand. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, as a bonus action, can I do that first? Yeah. Okay. So as a bonus action, I'm going to sing a Bardic Inspiration. At my, at my dead friend here and say you uh are you still in the mouth of the thing by the way i am still in the mouth but bardic inspiration doesn't work on death saves unless you're saying it has but it says a saving throw yeah no yeah the death saves don't count as a saving throw they don't get any bonuses at all sadness no, you don't want to break free i'm gonna cast shatter it's a second level spell uh, go ahead and roll a constitution saving throw for me, please. Alrighty. Let's see what it gets. I will let you know ahead of time it has a plus four con. Oh, no. Ashley, also look at your spells that are labeled as bonus 14. actions, just so you know. Spells labeled bonus I don't have any spells labeled as bonus actions. If you still have the spells that we picked, I'm pretty sure you do. Go look at my spells. You can see my spell sheet. 
I was gonna say, it would say underneath time, it'd have one PA bonus action. You have a RA. It looks she like may all have A's. Spells that after cast give her the option to do something as a bonus action as well. That's um, true, yeah. Like, for instance, uh, the one that Diffie's using, Witch Bolt, currently does that. Okay. Oh, you switched with. Okay, never mind. Yeah, you were thinking you were thinking healing word, weren't you? Yeah. I don't have that anymore. <laughs> Yeah, uh, that. <laughs> nope, Which is one. all good. Uh, it looks like even with the... Oh, and then it, the problem is it also gets a minus a D3. So this is where that will come in handy. So it failed the save because of that. Hell yeah, it did. So let's get 3D8 thunder damage. Ooh, uh, nice. 10, 16. Do I add anything? So, and this is just a, a reminder uh, as I read through this. A sun loud ringing noise painfully intense erupts from a point of your choice within range. Each creature in a 10 foot radius sphere centered on that point must make a constitution saving throw. So I would suggest moving it a bit farther back on the dinosaur. Well, it's the that's a 10 foot radius sphere and centered it right on the center of the dragon there. But which would cover which his, dinosaur. which would cover his Which would face. cover his mouth, you're right. Yeah, so I would push it just a little bit farther back. Yep, there you go, perfect. <laughs> Perfect. I was just, I was just like, I just, uh, just gotta save him just a little bit. Uh, Thanks, but bud. yes, uh, you're good there. I, cause, and and I know that's, it's tough because of the increments on roll twenty and everything and getting them all in the exact right space is a bitch. But yeah, that uh is a little easier to visually represent. And now he is also in the mouth of the, the beast. <laughs> so yeah, uh, you take sixteen damage. All right, and that would put it down to. Dun, dun, and dun, dun, dun. Let's see. Um, for Bardic Inspiration, see within sixty feet. Who's right beside me, or who's right beside? Um, I can't tell. Here or here or here. here. Um, I can't. I can't move. If them. if you hold it, it'll do the little ping. Here. Ah, that's a wolf. That's yeah, that's a lion. Sorry, not a wolf. Lion? Un yeah, undead yeah, lion. Yeah, the undead donkey. Can I bardic inspire the undead lion? I mean, I don't see why not. Can All I, things can I find say, inspiration in music. <laughs> I say, um... Uh, oh gosh, I'm trying to think of the tune of that Meow Mix song. Meow 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 I like how we all started fucking doing it. Yeah. For a second I thought you were doing the other one which the uh Meow 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 Just super fast. I do that. I do the meow make song at the cat. Alrighty. For bardic inspiration you get D6. Alright it is inspired like a mother. And that means it is now Gunther's turn. <laughs> I immediately have to make a d20 roll. Yep. Oof. And I take a failure. Which is your first failure, correct? Correct. Okay, Go so you, yep, you are good. Don't die, I don't know where Vivify. Uh, you, yeah, by making a death save, uh, my turn. <laughs> yep, it's pretty much what he can do. <laughs> It is an unfortunate part of being fucked the fuck up. Uh, having said that, it is once again uh, Geminara's turn. So she turns around, sees that no one is listening to <laughs> the baby dragon. Baby dragon. Baby She's dragon. And his real name is Clarence. Yeah, but baby dragon's funner to say. Yeah, it is. Uh, okay, what's the... At which he would respond, I am not a baby. He is a young adult, there is a difference. Alright, and she's gonna shoot her short bow. Ooh, nice. Shoot your shot, babe! Shoot it in the face! That's a natural 19 plus six. Uh, I'm gonna say that's a hit. That's probably most certainly a hit. Thanks for not making me do math. Yeah, math. You know. That's cocked. And that's 
six points piercing damage. Six points of piercing damage. Which this thing is, man, I really got to make sure I got this from the right source at some point. But it works fine for now. I think it's working fine. And it is, once again, Azuvada's turn. Hello? Oh, zippity, zippity, zap, doll strike back. Oh, crap, I thought I took off me, but I didn't. <laughs> you can use whatever name you want. You can call me doll, whatever. I'm gonna call you doll face. Yay. I was gonna say, you are currently 70 feet away from the uh, dead dinosaur. Which... I'm gonna call you dolly putt then. Switch bolt, bolt, though? I think so. Let me look at your stuff again, but I believe you sh that should be within the range. Yay. Because most spells have a pretty... Oh, wait. Think... On it, it's either 60 or 120 on the range, I think. Uh, its original range is 60 or 120, but it doesn't give a range for the reactivation. Because it says make a ranged spell attack. On a hit, the target takes damage on each of your turns for the duration. Oh, it's you can use your action, not a bonus action, to deal the damage to the target automatically. The spell ends if you use your action to do anything else. Oh, no. Okay. It ends if it's more than 30 feet away from you. Ah. Yeah, so it's probably no longer. But you could cast Witch Bolt again if you got back in 30-foot range. Yeah, but I'm still pretending to be a doll so far, and he picked me up, so. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I did pick her up and put her back on my shoulder. All right. Well, uh, and then if you don't have anything else you want to do, it's gonna be Wedge's turn. Yeah. Yee. What are you doing? Do 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 do. He's like, retreat while firing. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep a very, very safe distance away from dinosaur. I love the commentary that has taken place on the side over here. <laughs> Just outside. I, uh, let's see here. I am still definitely within range of shooting because fucking long bows and sharpshooter. Long bow. There's a reason they were stupid strong. <laughs> so yeah, I'm oh, actually sense character. Okay, so I'm about 110 feet, maybe 100 depending on where I'm shooting at the dinosaur. And uh, I'm to uh... roll a one. Don't you smack the guy in his mouth? <laughs> I'm going to uh, attack the uh, dinosaur with my longbow. Alrighty. And... I'm actually going to pull an arrow out of my poison quiver. So, if, if I hit it, it has to make a constitution save, not a d6 poison quiver. So, here's to hoping I hit the motherfucker. Come on. Oh! oh he got a hit! So, do you want to do the DC save first, or do you want to be the slash? Here, we'll, we'll do the DC save first. How about that? Okay, so, it's, it's a very shitty save, but it has to be a DC 11. So, it doesn't... Uh, <laughs> I can't remember, does it... Does it uh, I'll, I'll tell you this anyway. Uh, nope. This doesn't have... Uh, <clears throat> This doesn't have very good uh, resistances compared to other undead, but it does have one specific resistance. Oh. Is, is that resistance to... Is it resistance or immunity to poison? Immunity. <laughs> yeah, it's half. Yep, but it's fucking immune. I was thinking about it too. I was like, man, that poison would probably just about finish that dinosaur that I'm like, oh wait, it's immune to poison apparently. I really hope I'm using the right goddamn tool here. <laughs> but it looks correct. That's... But anywho, since I did hit it, it still takes 1d8 plus 3. Yes, it does. 
Which honestly is almost enough. Just gotta hit that crit. Come on, damage. Wow. Alright, so uh, it is now the T Rex's turn. I'm uh, at that utterly horrible failure. I'm gonna go uh, put some nicotine in my system. The arrow barely sinks in, it fucking glances off a skull plate. Oh, that's so... Uh, so you are still grappled, but it doesn't say I can attack you again with a bite, so it's just gonna tail smack this person on the ground. No, Drago! Yeah, get You're hit, inspired. wolf. It's a cat, it's a cat inspired! Uh, I don't know if that's gonna help me. It's an undead camel. <gasps> uh, does a... Oh, well, I'm pretty sure it does, but does, does a 23 hit... <laughs> Did you you roll the D one hundred? Oh wait, yeah, I rolled wrong. Thank you for putting that out there. Oh, God. Also, that's an awful roll for a D one hundred. It really is. Uh, does a sixteen hit? It does. Oh, I'm very sorry about this, but take twenty damage. <gasps> twenty damage. Yeah. Okay. But. Okay. And it's bludgeoning if you need a specific damage type. Uh, I think. It would knock me down to zero hit points. However, I get to make a constitution saving throw. Oh, I yes. Five plus the damage, so I have to hit a 25. Uh, is it 25 or a 20? Oh, yeah, it is 25. Sorry, it's not... Five yep, plus yep, the damage, yep, yep, yep. Which I rolled a five with a plus zero, so Drago is dead. Ah, it's all right. You can always bring him back, though. Yeah. I hope we have eight hours until the show. <laughs> 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 it was like, just, just looks down at dead dinosaur, or dead lion looks up at dead dinosaur. Hmm. <laughs> Why aren't you bringing back the dinosaur? Because that's not Drago. Yeah. Yeah, it's about, it's also, about the love. The CR is probably way too high. Probably. It's 13. It has to be a CR of one quarter or less. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. You know, it, it, it's pretty much the beast companion from the ranger. Yeah, they really... They really shit all over the animal companions in this one. Yeah. It was unfortunate. Having said that, it is... Uh, Clarence the dragon's turn. Howdy, y'all. Peace. Love and prosperity. I'll kill you all in your sleep. And, uh, yeah. 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 Now, uh, infuriated by the loss. What, what, what shall, you know, Vista do? Um. Knowing. That as long as the body does not get ravaged, I can bring Drago back. I will still be furious. However, uh, I will walk. Let's see. I'm gonna walk like 20 feet closer, so I'll go there. Why the fuck is my luck so horrible? Because he says path. He says while not in the mouth of a T Rex. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and I am going to cast Chill Touch on it. So I'll make a ranged spell attack. Which chill is Touch in a range? Yeah, Chill yeah. Touch is going to be a touch. Chill Touch is a range of 120 feet. I create a ghostly skeletal hand in the space. Yeah, yeah it's a weird. It's, it's, it's not like Shocking Touch. Yeah, yeah, or it's. Or, or, yeah, there's. Yeah, there's. I don't know why, but a lot of the ones in this one are, are named like that or have weird... The naming in this one was not very ergonomic, I will say. They did not get a language professor to go over this and make sure things were phrased correctly in a lot of cases. Mm. It's a touch spell that, that goes 120 feet. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, I'm creating a ghostly hand. It's, it's, like it's hand yeah, it's, it's yeah. Hand. It's considered a touch spell because you have to use your touch... Attack yeah, on it, yeah. It's yeah. so it's goddamn a, it's a stupid, though. By the way to hit. 
Can we? Um, and then we're not at fifth level yet, so it's just one d eight. It is a six points of damage. Um, you cannot regain hit points, and you are an undead target. So if you attack Ivica, you have disadvantage until the end of my next turn. And you said it was six, correct? Six points of damage, yes. Okay. And uh, the dinosaur is looking mad unhappy, yo. But it's Carly's turn. Okay, I'm going to... I'm going to cast... Magic uh, Missile! Magic Missile! 35 feet away. Are you 35 feet? Yeah, you're, you yeah. should be good right about there. So... Can I cast a 30 foot spell or? Yeah. You gotta move like five feet closer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If you had to, yeah, then you would have to move a little closer. Sorry. Is he looking like really bad or just kind of bad? I mean, he was already pretty dead, but, you know, he looks pretty bad. <laughs> On top of uh, normal dead looking. You make a free action to do a perception check. And that's a free action that won't make well, me do it. Well, no. yeah, I'll, I'll leave it to. It's a quick check, you know. See if you're, you're just doing okay, a cursory I'll, check. I'll do a quick cursory check. Is that was that? Do I have to roll for that? What do yeah. I roll? Uh, perception. Yep. Uh, perception is plus four. Fifteen. Nineteen. Uh, it looks pretty messed up. It looks real, real messed up. Like, real, it, real messed up. Yeah, like it fall over at any time. Fall over at any time. Okay, I'm gonna cast. I'm gonna cast vicious mockery. Oh no! How dare you! <laughs> and I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say. It's too early in the season for Halloween, you dumb fuck. <laughs> and it's four. It's Ouch. only four. And. <laughs> I don't think there's um, any saves or anything from that. I think I just take that to the face. Yeah, four psychic damage and have disadvantage disadvantage on your next attack roll. Alrighty, so uh, my high speed. I will say. I'm the good now. The little symbol works for me. Checked it out. I will say you uh you you said that he looked at you a, a gleam entered his eye and with the bellowing gasp of no air leaving its lungs it falls over onto the ground hell yeah and and is so super that. dead and are, so are we out of initiative order now yes cool then i go up to my dear friend my fellow bard companion oops my little bard companion maybe who's on his first saving throw yeah. and i cast Cure wounds. Will that will that bring him up from unconsciousness? Yep, yep. Yeah, immediately. It brings me up, so whatever you roll in healing is what I start at. It is a cool. really weird way they dealt with life and death in this one. They're yeah, just like. You're always at zero. Yep. You're always at zero. Five five e's in favor of the player. Oh yeah. So I'm going to cast cure wounds. At. Mmm. We'll say for. Seven plus five. Yeah, seven plus five is uh. Twelve. Twelve. You're at twelve hit points, my friend. I am at twelve hit points. Okay. So I wake up in the mouth of a dragon, correct? Or mouth of a T-Rex, correct? Yes, undead T-Rex. Yeah, the dragon ran away. I immediately cast vicious mockery. <laughs> Your breath I mean, smells like a whore's foot. You're nothing. You got a little bitch hand still deep, deep in a hooker. <laughs> uh, which? Uh, no. <laughs> Straight up dead. But it, you know, it, it's spirit. Be <laughs> but you do feel better. Uh, I am running up to Drago, and I'm using my second beast shape to turn back into a lioness and start dragging him back to the tent. 
dragging his corpse back to the tent. Alrighty. Do you want help with that? With my do you want help? I ask first. I just I just start walking like a mama cub or a mama lion with a, with a cub in her neck or in her mouth by the scruffy oh, neck, just dragging her. Jesus Christ! Takes a new version. I cast healing word on myself. Yeah, I'm gonna assist with moving Drago. You just see some dude walk out. He's like, "Who killed my T Rex?" Keep your T Rex in the box, bro. I, I, as she as she starts yelling at him, I put my hand up real quick, kind of like calm her down, and I look him straight in the eye. What is your name? My name. And he, and he turns around because you couldn't see him before, and he's just like stupid tall with a top hat. This is Zarathos. Zarathos? He knows who I am. I'm out. I look Zarathos straight in the, in the face. I look down at my body, then I cast Healing Word. You owe me recompense. He's, he's going to look back at you, and he's gonna. Give me a second. Spit in your face and say your mother was a hamster. Here we go. Who are you? And your father. No. Yeah. <laughs> that was the greatest. <laughs> I was thinking this. At which point. Von Musical Dune. Ah, yes. Whatever your name is. From wherever you're from. You killed my T-Rex as no, recompense. Well, you're I, all in it's. You know what? I, it, as a matter of fact, it's... seeing as you are being so very polite, I shall take it in recompense. And I start dragging the T-Rex away. He's like, my T-Rex! <laughs> dragging away I, 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 you, yep. I think we'll, uh, we'll pick it up next time with that one on that strength roll. Holy oh fuck. I am taking this dragon as recompense. Seriously though, the open slot is going to suck if it's less than eight hours away. Cause there's no lion. Whoa. I mean it's um, noon. There's oh, no that was the last thing. Dragon. Now that reminds me of what I was going to do before we finished. <laughs> Where is God damn it, I had it a second ago. Uh Why would I delete such a thing? Who are you? Oh, because I didn't, I'm just an idiot. What was the name of the guy who came over and was like, who killed my my T Rex? The, the big guy. Zarathos. It's the, the big owner. guy, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Zarathos is the good guy though. I thought I thought the good guy was Zathros. Uh, sorry, it is Zathros. I'm thinking of a different character with a similar name in a different game. <laughs> but, but the one that has the T-Rex is Zathros. Yeah. Okay, so it's a different person. I thought I thought you said it was Zarathos. It, it was. I it, it is supposed to be Zathros. I okay. fucked up the name. So, yeah, that's okay, my bad. So it's not the... Yeah, the you would... The owner of the carnival came up and was like, hey... Yeah, but the owner of the other carnival. The one yeah. that we're normally with. Yes. Interesting. And he came up on the evil side. Yes. This is a See, Alyssa, I told you. I told you. He probably touches kids like those Catholic priests. He's just going to look at you incredulously from the side. He's like, what, what the fuck? <laughs> We've never even met. I, I said that out of character. I know, you but it's game just. Already. <laughs> yeah. I know. I'm just giving you shit. I will. I will say this is the one uh, thing that is still going on in game. As you go up, Piaz shows up again. He's like, "Hey, hey, you guys remember uh, earlier when we were talking about what day the anniversary was?" Yeah. 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 You might have been right. Yeah. Oh, might. Tomorrow? Yeah. My bad. Thank oh, but God. oh, by the way, by the way, Zarathos lost the black bla uh, black dragon, and I continue to drag the Tyrannosaurus. God damn it, Zarathos! We only had one of those. <laughs> He's just gonna Did put us. Like, eat it or something? No, it ran away. It pieced oh. out like yeah, a motherfucker. No, it's over there on the right. I mean, <laughs> it's off the map. 
What? No, it's gone. Is the fucking is the what? No, he's gone. It's not there. But yeah, I think that's a I think that's a good point to call it. It was a very decently sized. Oh wow, yeah, we actually made four hours for once, which we don't usually do anymore.